Hey Capricorn, what's going on everybody? It's Anne from Cancer Moons Tarot and I'm coming at you with your mid-January 2023 tarot reading. How are you? I hope you're well. I hope you've been having a fantastic start here so far to your January 2023 or to your year, sorry, of 2023 is what I meant to say. I hope it's been a great start to your year. Um, I do want to mention, I have a website, guys, so if you want to check out CancerMoonsTarot.com, link is in the description below. Uh, what you'll find on that website is products. You'll also find personal services, amongst other things, so if you're interested in that, feel free to give it a check out. Um, I do want to mention in terms of personal services there is a weekly stock so if you see any personal services out of stock you can check back next week when it is restocked for everybody okay it is on a first come first serve basis um also i will never reach out to you regarding personal services or personal readings if you see anybody claiming to be me that dms you or asks you for money it is not me the only way you guys can ever get a reading is from cancermoonstarot.com so please be mindful of that okay but without a further ado capricorn how are you baby Let's see what we got going on here for your second half of January. What do we got showing up, baby? What's going on here for Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus throughout mid-January 2023? What information is going to be in store here, please, for the beautiful zodiac sign of Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus throughout mid-January 2023? Starting out here with the overall energy, we begin this reading here with the Five of Cups. So, Five of Cups showing up here for you. It's definitely a card in resonance to going through some period of grief or going through a period of being upset. I do believe here with the three cups that are knocked over, as we know, the three of cups in the tarot represent joy. Uh, so some joy was lost. But remember, there's two cups still standing. That's right behind this individual, right? So with those two cups still standing, universe says, even if joy was lost, it doesn't mean that it can't be regained. It doesn't mean that you can't even find something that's more joyful because there always is going to be something more joyful out there for all of us, um, even in times of where we lost something we took a lot of joy in. All right, moving along here forward for you, moving into your current situation, we got here the judgment, we have the uh, page of uh, page of wands, excuse me, and we have here the page, or sorry, the ace of pentacles. Don't mind me, guys, today, okay? Apparently, I'm just saying everything wrong. All right, moving along here forward, though, right? Uh, in your current energy, judgment, page of wands, and the ace of pentacles. Judgment card to the page of wands. I do feel like you want to give something new a chance. But it's hard to give something new a chance and to take the opportunity when you're still upset in reference to what it is that's been lost here. So, for example, let's say that a breakup happened. Maybe a new person's entered your life. They seem pretty interesting. They seem like there's potential there. But it's kind of hard because if I'm still going through heartbreak, you know, am I ready to try a new love? Am I ready to really try a new connection here? Like, that's kind of the question, you know, Ace of Pentacles. Do I take this opportunity or do I take more time to heal? Maybe you're upset about a job that uh, no longer is formated. You know, maybe you uh, were working somewhere. Maybe they went out of business and you found a new job you kind of like. But are you really interested in taking up the opportunity of this new work? Or, you know, are you still trying to see if there's any hope that you can, uh, you know, find another job in the same kind of workplace or the same kind of career field? So however it resonates to you, I definitely feel like there was something lost, something ended. And it was something you cared about. And there definitely is going to be sadness there for sure. And I think that you acknowledge that. But is it too soon to move on? Is it too soon to take interest in someone or something new? All right. So let's go ahead and answer those questions there. Uh, first things first, I want to have a look here at the uh, Ace of... Well, first of all, by the way, you had the Ace of Wands reveal itself. Ace of Wands is that card that represents new beginnings, okay? So I like that for you. That's kind of clarification here from the universe of like, hey... You probably should go for this new beginning, for this new thing that's bringing in interest, because at the end of the day, granted, you might be processing what happened. You might be upset for what it is that's lost. You cannot change what is lost. You can only go forward. So I think the universe is trying to say move on and, you know, see what happens with this new beginning. The way that I put it, to be completely honest, is that at the end of the day, moving on always gives you one or two options. You know, either you move on and whatever... Um, ended ends up you know coming back around and working again and you reconcile uh with whatever your situation was or you move on and you find better you know anytime we stay stuck and we stay stagnant nothing happens for us and it's like the worst position we can put ourselves in so moving on always has its benefits and i really do believe whatever this new interest of yours is 
it's positive. I think there's definitely something there here for you regarding your mid-January. So I would give it a shot, okay? So in terms of answering your question, I'd give this new situation a chance, all right? Regardless though, Capricorn, let's have a look and see what's coming in in mid-January. So what's gonna be coming in here for Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus throughout their mid-January 2023. Having a look at the first card out, we got a Knight of Pentacles. Next card here for you is going to be the Knight of Wands. And then looking at the last card for you, we do have here the Eight of Pentacles. So looking at what's coming in here, Knight of Pentacles, Knight of Wands, and the Eight of Pentacles. Knight of Pentacles to the Knight of Wands. Do I want to take things slow and steady or do I want to move a little fast? <laughs> so what's coming in here for you is definitely going to be a little bit of confusion on what you should do about this new interest. I think that there is definitely going to be an acceptance here. I think you're going to invest, all right, is what I want to say in this new interest of yours. Uh, but it kind of gets to a point where it's like, okay, I want to invest in this new interest, but do I go slow or do I go fast? Do I take my time or do I just give it my all? Because I think that, you know, this starts off as a new interest, but it's going to probably become very passionate for you very quickly. So if it's a new kind of career, you know, it starts off as an interest and then it becomes like, oh, wow, I'm really invested. I really like this. I'm really passionate towards this career. If it's love and first it starts out like, oh, I kind of am interested in this person. Then it's like, oh, I really like this person, you know? So where do I go from here? Do I take my time? Do I rush? Or it's not even rush. The Knight of Wands here isn't rush. It's like, do I take my time or do I give it my all and give it my 100 and see what happens? So that's kind of where you're at. So what's coming in here for you is a little bit of confusion on what to do. Looking at the last card being the Eight of Pentacles, Eight of Pentacles here says, on top of this new interest, you know, I'm still working on releasing a lot of the sadness and a lot of the emotions that I'm going through uh, from what it is I have originally and previously lost. So there's a lot of confusion I feel that's coming in here for you on what you should do. Okay. In terms of what I feel here for you personally, if I can offer you guys any bit of advice, if something here, if this new interest feels really good to you, if it feels very promising, if it is, you know, quickly coming, uh, developing and becoming something you really like, I don't feel like you should hold yourself back from it. I think you should give it your 100 if it feels right. Because at the end of the day, you always have to go with what it is that feels right. If something intuitively and in your gut and in your heart really feels right for you, don't deny yourself that. Go for it, okay? Now, if you're a little apprehensive about it and you feel like maybe you should take things a bit slower, then follow what your gut is saying. The best piece of advice I can offer is always go with what your gut and your heart is telling you. What you feel would be the best choice will be the best choice for you, no matter what anybody else tells you, okay? So I get that for sure. A little bit of confusion coming in. Taking a look at what you can expect now throughout the rest of your mid-January. Let's see what's in store for you over here. So what can Sagittarian expect now, please? Throughout the mess, uh, throughout the mess is what I was going to say. Throughout the rest of their mid January 2023, what can uh, my beautiful and amazing Capricorns expect throughout the rest of their mid January? And what do we have? First card out, we got here the Four of Swords. Moving into the next card, we do have here the Temperance. And then lastly, here for you is going to be the Five of Wands, followed up here with the Page of Swords. So, Four of Swords here, Temperance, Five of Wands, Page of Swords. With that Temperance energy, you could be connecting with a Sagittarian, possibly. Um, Capricorn, you could also be dealing with a Scorpio because we have the Judgment card here as well. So, regardless, looking at what you can expect here, Four of Swords to the Temperance. I think that you're going to make peace with what it is that's been lost here. I definitely feel like this month, it's going to be the month where everything ends up being okay. You're going to make peace with what was lost, and I do believe that you're going to end up coming out of this just fine. We do have here the Temperance card. Temperance card is about pretty much being emotionally balanced and being in a much better place emotionally. So it's going to take some work here, Eight of Pentacles, uh, but it's going to happen for you. So I think you're going to be able to make peace with your past and make peace with what's ended uh, so that you can focus on this new journey. You know, looking at the next two cards, we do have here the Five of Wands and we also have here the Page of Swords. I, I believe at the same time, too, you know, there's going to be frustrations from time to time. I think that in terms of making peace with it, you will. But I also think you're going to be frustrated because there's a part of you that's always going to wish that, you know, the past worked out. There's always going to be a part of you that wish, you know, that um, something never ended and that it just stood where it was. And I think that there will be frustration there for sure. You will reflect and think back to these moments from time to time. But I do see your primary, your uh, primary, excuse me, focus 
becoming this new interest of yours. And I think that that's the most important thing. So you'll still go through the motions. You know, you can, <clears throat> excuse me, you can make peace with something that's ended, but still go through the motions at the same time, if that makes sense. So you may still go through the motions, but you're making peace with the fact that something's over. And you're saying to yourself, I don't want to stay stuck. I might as well move on. I might as well take this new opportunity, this new interest and roll with it and see what happens because you never know. It could turn out so much better. And I'm a firm believer in the universe that if something isn't meant for us, it's not going to be a part of our lives. And whatever is meant for us at that moment in time in our lives is what's going to align with us. So if something's not meant to be, it was never meant to have been. And whatever is meant to be will align with you. So this new alignment, I truly believe Capricorn is meant for you. Okay. All right, guys, moving on forward. Let's take a look at some advice here from the universe. So is there any advice here from the universe that I can give here to Capricorn? Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus throughout mid-January 2023. Is there any advice here I can give to the Cappy? We did have a card flip over, and this card is the King of Pentacles here. So King of Pentacles coming up here for you as the first card. Moving into the next card, we have here the Queen of Wands. Then we have here the Two of Swords. And then lastly for you, we have here the Magician. So taking a look here at the advice from the universe, let's go ahead and begin. King of Pentacles here all the way to the Queen of Wands. I believe with these two cards, basically the advice the universe is trying to deliver is King of Pentacles, stay cool, calm, and collected. The thing about the King of Pentacles is that the King of Pence is all about being grounded. Now, the King of Pentacles also represents abundance, stability, financial stability. The King of Pentacles can resonate a lot of things, but under the context of what the universe is saying, the universe here is saying, continue to empower yourself, Capricorn. Continue to recognize your value. Continue to note that it's okay for for you to move forward in life and to always move forward to the next best thing. If something here doesn't work out for you, move on to the next and don't question it. Know that you're in good hands and know that you're going forward to a good path. You know, King of Pentacles here is trying is the universe's way of trying to say you will always have abundance. You will always have stability. You will always be exactly where you need to be because you will be in that space because I'm looking out for you, right? Because the universe is always serving within your best interest. So I definitely get that vibe of like, you're protected, you're guided, and wherever you may be guided to, you may be blessed, okay, Capricorn? And I think that that's such a beautiful statement to hear, and it's such a beautiful statement to see. So it's like, wherever you're going, you're going to continue to be blessed. You know, don't worry about it. Just trust the process, okay? Moving into the next two cards. Magician here to the Two of Swords. Universe here is also trying to mention, though, in terms of, you know, manifestation, in terms of attracting things into your life, definitely start to get more clear on what it is you desire. I feel like in terms of advice from the universe, the more clear of what it is your intentions are, the more clear of what it is you desire, the easier it's going to be to manifest. When you find yourself in indecisive places, when you find yourself going back and forth, on questions um, or trying to find answers to questions you have, it's going to be more difficult to end up getting that manifestation to come through. Uh, so definitely start getting very clear on what it is you're intending to manifest and attract into your life going forward. Even if you haven't been consciously manifesting or practicing manifestation, Moving into mid-January 2023, if you start becoming more clear on what your intentions are, it's going to be very much so easier to get to your goals. Uh, so this is a pretty interesting message. It could correlate a little bit to the reading we just discussed, but even if this doesn't even apply to the reading we just discussed, it's a great thing to mention to people because when we get clear on what our intentions are and we take action towards those intentions, it makes the process of manifesting a heck of a lot easier. So just word to the wise out there for Cappies, if you have found yourself in indecisive places, figure out what you truly want, figure out what your true intentions are, and then work towards that, and you will see the difference, okay? All right, though, Cappy, with that being said, we're going to hop on into the overall outcome now, and we'll see what we have for mid-January 2023. So what's going to be the overall outcome here, please, for the zodiac sign of Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus throughout mid-January 2023? And Cappy, what do we got? We got here the chariot. I love it, baby. I really do. Cancerian energy. You could be dealing with a cancer or there might be cancer somewhere prominently in your chart. Nonetheless, though, chariot card showing up for the outcome. You're keeping a pop and pushing and, and moving forward. You're on a good path here and you're on the path that's going to be a righteous path. OK, chariot card is basically saying you're on a good path. You're in good hands. OK, with this new beginning that you'll be investing in. So as far as what I see here for you, Capricorn, you know, you started out this reading, I don't know, like, 
Should I move on? Should I give this new interest a chance? You know, you started out pretty indecisive, but I think you're soon going to become very clear on what your intention is. And your intention here is to say, hey, I should move on. I shouldn't keep myself stuck. I deserve the best in the world. And if something's meant for me, it's meant for me. So you're given a chance here to a, a brand new beginning, whether it's a new beginning in love and your career in your friendships and family, you know, you're giving yourself a fresh start. And I think that at the end of all this, you're going to recognize I indeed really did choose a good path. Okay. So I love it, Capricorn. Really great reading here for you. Thank you so much, by the way, for tuning in. I really, really do appreciate it. Of course, if you are new here and you're interested in the channel, definitely consider subscribing. I'd be more than happy to welcome you here into the uh, soul family, but Capricorn have a lovely and amazing rest of your January. And I will catch you all in the next video. Much love to the Cappies and have yourselves a good one. Later, y'all. Peace.